Yeah, he's in go, 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 go. go. Shop channel. I am John I'm here with Jeremy doing a very special unboxing. You know why? Because that's what we do. It is something big. This is the ultimate Tony Rice guitar clone shootout. Of the things that uh, when I finally saw the picture that I was most impressed with, this sunburst. This looks original. It looks right. If Enjoy it. This is Alan Bybee in Grasstown. Uh, my name is Alec Beshin. I took that idea, kind of built on it layer by layer. It kind of sounded like and reminded me of some of my influences, so I called the song Borrowed. Hey guys, it is New Guitar Thursday. Glad to be with you on Thursday. It has been a weird day today. Welcome back. It's Takeover Tuesday. I'm so happy to have you back here at the acoustic shop. Mask on. Shop Talk, that's where we answer your questions. Take all of your requests. Please like and subscribe. It helps us a whole lot. And we actually have a very, very special guest here today. We have I'm Aaron McDerris. Hey. 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 
Yay, yeah, buddy. It wasn't you, Jason. You're, howdy, howdy. You're not special. Nobody Florida cares Florida about you, Jason. <laughs> he decided to join us today, and we are going to start off with a song. What are you guys going to play? What are you playing, well, Aaron? I think I'll just pick a little bit of Foggy Mountain Special. Yeah, that do it. special. Here we go. Shop Thanks talk. For me. Absolutely. I'm glad to be here. Very excited to have you drop by. Yeah. It's gonna be good. Uh, Mitzi says the guitar is too loud. Guess what? It is not. There is no such thing. It can never ever. <laughs> Last be week the complaint because it was it's too quiet. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're glad to have you all. You here uh, for shop talk? Where we talk about instruments, we talk about music, we talk about whatever you want to talk about. We see comments up here Philosophy. right now. I uh, see Fog is from Oklahoma City. Uh, somebody's watching from Indiana right now. I see uh, Steve Snowy Mooney Minnesota. is uh, watching Settling Pacific, the next Missouri, blizzard. Yeah, Illinois. Can, can you magnify our screen a little bit? And, yeah, and then our first, our first official celebrity uh, uh, equipment challenge question. Aaron, what picks do you use? Uh, all right. These are, uh, I use a blue chip thumb pick, uh, J.D. Crow. The large. He's, the he's a large. Large, that's right. Which, I don't know where you put the camera. Over there, right that guy, right there. Can you see that? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and these are some old national thumb, or finger picks that I found at a bluegrass festival somewhere. And I just went and tried them out. And that's what they are. So Have you tried these new picks? Uh, from Pro Pick, have you tried the Heritage Pick? I have pick? not. I actually, I, I have just, a set of them. Yeah, you got. I'll, you I have them here to try them, but all right. Yeah, you won't like mine. Mine are okay. better. Right. Alan Mundy came in and tried my banjo <laughs> picks, and he goes, "Why did you do this?" And I'm like, "Cause I thought that felt comfortable to me, but it didn't feel comfortable to him." Anyway, uh, story is on this. I don't know if you already know this yeah. or not, but uh, Jens Kruger got a hold of a set of Earl's picks. Earl gave him his actual picks. That's awesome. And then he took those in and had them analyzed and shaped and put exactly as Earl's Nationals were. Are you serious? Yeah, dead serious. So wow. they are Some the heritage pick. Supposedly it is an exact reproduction of Earl's 
actual set of picks that I should he try gave some of them. DMs. I should try some of them. Goodness, you tell me. I, I got some for you. Don't worry. We got this. We're well, the reason, the reason being, having you know, it's, it's nice to have something to fall back on because it is getting harder and harder to find yep. the old national picks. It's like picks the Torshell issue yes, in good where you just can't find them. Um, and I know there are great uh, great pick makers out there, and I, I'll be interested to try those. Yeah. See. yeah, I wouldn't know. I tried them. I did like them better than yeah. any of the nationals that I have ever played, well. but I have not as much experience with them. I know my dad, is a, he's got a whole collection. I found him a collection of the actual nationals, and he yeah. won't part with those for anything. <laughs> and I know Sonny, who you hung out with a lot, yeah. would only... Was his uh, big claim was when I don't have these picks, I won't play anymore or something yeah. of that nature? Yeah, that's that yeah. Why he yeah. That might have been why he retired right there. <laughs> got to get both on the picks. I think so. The maybe. picks was yeah. the problem. He lost the picks. <laughs> we got a comment on here. Is that Sonny's old banjo on? This top? is the yes. Rocky Top uh, RB3 original five string flathead Gibson. We got a video of that on our, yeah. our, our YouTube. Yeah. yeah. That's been on, how, how long ago was that? Two years ago, maybe? A couple yeah, of years. Yeah. Yeah. Those of you who don't know, uh, Aaron used to work for a short time here at the shop. He hung out with us. He couldn't deal with working with me anymore. So he said, guys, I got to put in, I got to, I got to put in my notice. I'm out. John has absolutely wore me out. He liked Jeremy and Jason. Just, it was working with yep, me. That's, that's right. That's I can't believe he had to sit beside me today. So I don't know. I don't, I don't know what that was all about. <laughs> we got a guy from over in uh, Trentham, UK. Yep. Oh, wow. Hey. Person on Trentham. I like. We need more names like that for Is cities. Is it Trentham or Trentham? Trentham. 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 I'm gonna Burton go Trentham. on Trentham. There you go. Okay. He's Roger Grandpa Bear Appleby. That is the longest name I've ever seen on a uh, uh, on any username. So that would have been hard to write in school. Hey, 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 ladies and gentlemen, let's introduce our host, <laughs> who uh, is going to tell us all about what today's uh, lineup is all about. Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome uh, Hinkle Hinkleston the third or the fourth. We're not sure yet Hinkle, which originally is. originally from Burton Esquire. on Trentonham. Yes. <laughs> Hinkley, Hello guys. say hi. <laughs> Hello, guys. Let's see. First up on the docket, since we were talking about what Aaron is playing, do you guys want to go ahead and say what you guys are playing? I'm sure Why the viewers not? are Yes, curious. I got one right here that just came in. This is the first time I've actually got to play this guitar. This is a Boucher, a special uh, edition Boucher that just came in. This is an SG-52 B I. M-V. Hey, I got it. B-I-N-G-O. Uh, B for burst pack. I for... Uh, in, in, not the include. Stop messing with <laughs> Intimate concert pack. Uh, M for master pack. And V for vintage pack. That basically means it's got a burst. It's got a master grade it's Adirondack top. It has a pick, a K and k pickup. It, stop with your being though. I got you, Jer. And the vintage pack, which gives you, gains you a torfied top and a square pickup. Man, that's a lot of information. It is. I've got another guitar over here, too, that I will probably switch to. All right, shut up. <laughs> anyway, that's what I'm playing for right now. I am playing a, an Acoustic Shop exclusive. Uh, F9, I can't tell if, was this a, no, this one didn't have the small F holes, but uh, so it's got the radius fretboard, wider nut, um, ah. really cool sounding mandolin. We've only got a couple of these left, and I think we only two got like two left on our order, so we're about to run out of Gibson mandolins here pretty soon. So we got some new ones on order. Has that officially been July. declared yet? Yes. I think people have uh, announced it, so I think we can be behind this. Gibson last year suspended all orders for mandolins. Starting so in April of last year, no new orders. What we had on our order list, which was quite a few things. Thankfully. Um, yes. Uh, they didn't give all. us notice and say, hey, guys, order a bunch because they're closing the doors. No, they said, oh, if you haven't done. ordered anything, you're done. You're done. Um, so anyway, those have been slowly trickling in. We ordered, like, of this mandolin, we ordered, like, 15, 20-something 20 20 like that. We're coming towards the end of that run. Um, there are a few other mandolins that are showing, but then they came back this year and said, hey, we're opening orders again, but two we models. discontinued everything but two models. They introduced a brand new model, which is a master model. It's going to be very, very Basically cool. Basically like their Fern, but a, a throwback to the 1923 uh, Lloyd Lohr. July 9th. Oh, yeah. So flower pot the instead 100th of anniversary the mandolin. And then also a standard F5, which took a lot of our customization options that we said, hey, these are custom the acoustic shop. They've made that standard now. With the you know what they nut, did? The the, people have done this to us before. Cut off. We come up with these ideas. We say, this is going to be exclusive to the acoustic shop. We just we think these are the options people want. And then the manufacturer then makes it their model, and that ruins mm. 
Ruins all our fun. Oh, well. No kidding. But yeah. 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 That's, an, that's one of the acoustic shop F9s. If you want an F9, they're not going to be making news, possibly. No. We don't know if they're going to open up models again, but As of right this now. is the last batch of F9s that are known to exist. Ooh, the rare ones. Jason, tell us about that cello. That one, a cello you're playing. This is a classic cello from the 1950s. <laughs> There's a guy on TikTok, by the way, that just, just keeps hounding Jason about his cello. Back when Epiphone made cellos. <laughs> He left it yeah. out in the Where's rain, your bow, guys. Man? Where's your bow? <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Same bass I play every week until I get the one back there fixed. Hey, I'm play you, know that what, one later. you know what we should tell people? Are we coming to Columbus, is, Ohio anytime soon? Is that for us or for Aaron? Aaron, you coming to you're coming we're to Columbus, see. Columbus, Ohio. That's on right? TikTok. Oh. I don't are you recall us being at Columbus. You guys are everywhere. You're only playing like 640 million Is it okay to look on my phone? You can do that. I'm watching my phone right now. Yeah. Um, she's asking if we travel to, so she might be talking as a group. Do it. Uh, the three of us, in case you're new to the channel, are brothers, John, Jason, and Jeremy Chapman. We played the Bluegrass group, the Chapmans, because we couldn't come up with a better name. Um, it's true. <laughs> but uh, now we own a music store in Springfield, Missouri, where we play music during the week and, and talk about instruments. And, and sell so them. Sometimes we travel. We don't really sometimes play we even sell them. very much anymore. We're going to Bend, Oregon in two weeks we to are. tour the we'll uh, couple... Facilities up there. We're not going to play. We'll be in Marysville, Ohio, in Marysville, March. Marysville, Ohio, Ronda Vincent March seventeenth. That's just right around the corner. I don't know yeah, where it is. Actually, I'm not sure exactly where that is. From Columbus, <laughs> just so they know, just giving them. Columbus, he sailed the Bur ocean blue. Bur Berlin, Ohio, in April. That's at the Amish Country Theater. I bet there's Amish people around there. There is a few. I would assume. I have to play by candlelight. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually a tractor on that stage. Really? A real tractor. <laughs> but we can't get on it when we're playing. I saw something oh, interesting. I know, don't know if it's true or not. Owensville, Ohio in June. Go ahead and interrupt me there. Yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> hey, I'm just I'm trying to help folks At this out. point, nobody somewhere. cares anymore. <laughs> Please check LondonVincent.com. That, that some of the Amish can use uh, pneumatic power. Pneumatic. Yeah, they showed some pneumatic ceiling fan that was running off of steam or something. That I uh, it was some lady in the back with a crank. <laughs> just, just that thing. We also had a request. Can you shuck that corn one time? Oh, shuck the corn man. one time? Boy, it's going to be Banjo Tune Central. I, I see I also a black one. All the time. Are you doing, a, are you doing it in G or, or G, do you do it? Yeah. Okay, never mind. Can you combine that with blackjack? We will go to B and do blackjack in a minute. Yeah. I want you to modulate. All right, Aaron. All right, do it. shuck the corn.
a good workout this morning. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Who has, there it is. Who has the gentlemen. most experience chucking corn in real life? Oh, I, always, yeah. I always cook the corn in the husk on a grill, mm -hmm. and then when you go to shuck it, you burn, burn. the fire out of your hand. It's <laughs> not good. I never ow, wait ow. long enough, so I just do it anyway. I want the corn to be uh, hot, but it rips my hand. I burn my hands up. Yeah. I've I need some of the leg sore hands. Fire gloves. Do you like it? Do, do you prefer it in the shuck on the when grill? I, when I grill, I yeah, it's, yeah. It keeps all the juice in the there. Shuck on the grill. What do you That's think? Pretty good too. Does it work okay? Yeah. Yeah. I think you, you have to good. burn the kernels a little bit sometimes that way, but well, it's still good. But if you like popcorn, it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> you leave it too you, you leave it too long there. Aaron. I want to do the uh, what is the Mexican version of that where you kind of roll it in? Uh, what is it called? Alotes. Yes. They like yes. roll it in some spice. I've never had you it. You guys are making up words. Make it it's you not do. real. They use uh, Parmesan cheese too and <laughs> spices. I want. Yeah. yeah. Is, is that any different than Mexican street corn? Is it the same thing? thing? Yeah, it's the same thing. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's just what know. it's called. I know a lot of people are calling it Mexican street corn. I just didn't know. They just, yeah. I am not culturally refined, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Somehow, <laughs> somehow the way I'm burning my fingers doing that, uh, the song "Shucking the Corn" never really fits that. It's more like a son of a. <laughs> hold it now, hold it. Hot cold corn, corn. Hey. That was a good one. Hello from Nova Scotia. Hey, Nick. Yeah, we said Scotia earlier, people. make sure to like, share, comment, and tell us where you're listening from. <clears throat> yeah. Or watching. Please do watching, that. Join. Please, please, we please. talked about that. If you guys do not like and share, it does not help us out at all. And uh, you guys don't even understand how these social media platforms value that. They do it more than, they don't care what we're playing. They don't care what, they care about what you guys say we're doing. So uh, if you can help us out a little bit, we'd just definitely appreciate that. Nasty Masty 92 gave us, I think we're, what we're dancing emojis, the foot up, foot down, foot up, foot down. Oh. It's patting it, tapping his foot. And then like a 30 applause uh, emojis. That's pretty so. good. Lots of emojis yeah, coming out. I just like Nasty Masty. <clears throat> For those of you who don't know, Aaron is actually from the Ozarks down here. Uh, I originally am. from Kabul, Missouri. No. No? Hartville. That's what I meant. He's from Hartville. Hartville. Which is not I did Kabul. Live in Kabul. He was a Kurt dairy for farmer. Just a short little while. What was your dairy like? Were you guys like full industrial? I just worked for oh, okay. because there was like a dairy farm every dirt road yeah. you went on <laughs> around my area. It's, I'm serious. That is we true. Used to, we used to so always make you could make money as a teenager. We used to make Aaron like crush our hands because he had the strongest hands <laughs> in the world. I don't know how much manual milking you always I actually didn't did. Do so any. I didn't do no, any. I had all the machines. I just got no. the grip of a. <laughs> but I could do it. I can do it. I think that's a lie. Um, <laughs> can you milk a cat? <laughs> can you uh, milk me, Aaron? Well, I have teats. Yeah. That's a little. Uh, that's a uh, little. Yeah, I was, was going to go there, but you beat me to it, and I'm glad you did, because I, I would have hated it. His hands are not that delicate. They're too strong. Anyway, Aaron, we grew up with Aaron. We picked a name lot. Greg? We, <laughs> we played music back in the day. Uh, Aaron can then continued to have his career. Uh, go up while ours continue to go down. Oh, that's and not true. <laughs> that's just the way that's it works. That's not true. And uh, Aaron now, in case you don't know, is and has been touring with uh, Rhonda Vincent and the Rage for how many years now, Aaron? 14, well, it's coming up on 14 years. 14 wow. years. There yeah. you go. It does about not to seem the, like it's been 14 years. He's about years. to get the gold banjo pick. Uh, yeah. Mickey's year. been there 20. Really? 21. Yeah. Wow. He's going to die there. How long has Rhonda <laughs> been there? <laughs> yeah, how long has Rhonda been there? <laughs> the whole time. She was there from the inception. <laughs> that works. Uh, uh, no, she has been playing. She, she said she started when she was maybe three or four, I think, singing on stage. So I believe it. She's known that no other her over 50 years. I'm not going to say the exact one because <laughs> if I was you, I wouldn't do that. She really might. No, I'm just kidding. But anyway, it she won't get mad. It's a won't. good comment from Fog. I hate being bipolar. I think it's great. <laughs> 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 that is good. See, I uh, jokes. Sorry. I'm going to use that one. Um, no, I'm not. If you guys have any questions out there, send them our way. Yeah. We'll read we had a request from Blackjack in the key of B. Buh. We should can do a vocal tune tune Tell them a sometime. little bit about that guitar there. Okay, okay we, can we can do that. Let's do play that. one, and then I'll talk about this guitar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it depends on how it performs. If it performs poorly, I'm not going to tell anybody <laughs> anything about it. Sounds good. That's a good question for Aaron about John Terry. All right. Do you miss playing with Josh Williams? Far the greatest guitar player to grace Rhonda's stage. Rhonda's oh my stage. goodness, somebody is a Josh. Hey Williams Josh, fan. good to see you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> good to see you back on social Josh media. Josh Williams is a 
phenomenal, phenomenal yes. guitar player and singer. Hey, and and good guy. I know where they can see you play with Josh Williams again. Speaking yes. Of. And matter of fact, you will get to see him again if you come to Starby Creek. The July Bluegrass Festival? Bluegrass Festival in July. July. you got to Link in July. the description. July. <laughs> yeah, we got a link in the description. <laughs> uh, but Josh Williams is going to be joining. He will. And backed up by the Rage. So it's kind of a reunion show. That is correct. He will he will not be on the Ron the Visit show, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna end the show that night and back him up and he's gonna play all kinds of cool tunes. It was great to Probably see. Probably some Tony Rice tunes, some old JD Crow tunes. Josh Williams he tunes. has several good songs right. of his own. Maybe we can get him to sing some of those. Trent, do we have a tuner? So, it was great you know to see what? we saw Josh backstage at, at Bigma in Nashville and he's doing really well. Yes, he is. Good to catch up with him again. He's doing very well. Yes, I do miss playing with him. You spent quite a few years with him. I did. We had a band. We, at one time, we was going to have a band with me and him and Brandon Rickman, if anybody remembers Brandon Rickman from Love Bird Band. Brandon. Day. I also a Missouri native. He's a very good singer-songwriter. And Doug Clifton, who now plays with Route 3, has his own band. But anyway, we were going to call it Breakaway, and it never happened. So we always laugh and say that was the band that never was. But we Thank could take God. a photo. But it would have been. Oh, you got the photo. We had a band photo, but we never, <laughs> <laughs> we never did nothing else. We ain't got any they bookings, Randy. We don't need a band photo. <laughs> they always said if you ever want to break a band up, just take a band photo. <laughs> I think that's pretty well what happened. No, actually, we were young musicians at the time, and Josh had just got hired on with, was just getting ready to be hired on with Special Consensus, so. Everybody's done well. You started out with Larry Stevenson. Was he gonna be playing on that? To, uh, I'm sorry. Was he gonna be playing mandolin in that configuration if Brandon was playing? Yes, he would have been playing mandolin. Yeah. Which that's what we do with special C for the longest yep. time. Yep. Multi music instrumentalist. <laughs> yep. Yeah. You can play everything. Well, Kevin, I'm on the hill. We'll try to get to that one. Do that first and then blackjack to follow. We've done all banjo yeah. instrumentals. Do, well, uh, well, I mean, hey. I don't care. I don't like I'm sick of it. <laughs> Give me a break. Let these guys play something. <laughs> All right, go ahead and do a uh, little cabin home, and then we'll follow with Black Jack since you're there. Little cabin home. That's when somebody else. Go. All right.
Lester and me got together and I thought, Man, you've aged very well. <laughs> it was, Lester didn't like the hook, but I said, trust me. <laughs> he's like, trust me. He's like, we've got enough cabin tunes on the hill. So there's room for one more, uh, Lester. Awesome. He wanted to call a little cabin home in the valley, and I said, hell no. <laughs> what kind of hell? moron puts a cabin? Kind of moron? You're going to get flooded, Lester. <laughs> Damn it. Oh my god, that was awesome. Uh, I love that. All right, we're supposed to be blackjack next? I think so. Something like that. Something. Then I'll talk about this guitar. All right, Eric. It sounds great. It does sound great. They all sound great. They do. Everybody's making a good guitar. Everybody. Come on. Yeah, I made a good guitar. Yeah, Here we go. Well, They all start with I'm going to slow down on this. I just gotta get my brain wrapped around for a minute here. Hey, kick it off and then get with Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. I'm sitting down, guys. It's gonna be hard. <laughs> does like three or four and then everybody gets two. Yeah, yeah it's a I JD Crow song. Uh, yeah. You gotta give banjo like four times as it's much airtime. It's all about the banjo, you know? <laughs> <laughs> What's a song like that? I've heard a song like that. We got a couple comments on TikTok that are interesting. My parents were from Grove Springs and my oh, dad graduated yeah. from Hartville. Yeah. You got that tuner. I live um, between Hartville somebody, and Grove Springs. Yep. Yeah. Somebody asked if we've ever played Bluegrass Junction on Sirius XM. We have all done it in different not in this configuration. We've never done it as this group. We're not right really here. I think we just started a group, Aaron. I know, right? Did we just start what a group? Was the name of that group that you put together that didn't happen? <laughs> <laughs> Can we take that name? Is it still available? Uh, hey, we could. Break away. 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 
Break a one nine. Can that. we do that? PC's More like break a hip. That would be what it is with the changes. Yeah, we weren't old back then. We were very young. Now we're old. We're just That's old. Funny. We definitely are old. I feel old it Larry. every single day. I'm sore all the time. <laughs> I wake up every single morning going, who am I? What am I? <laughs> Where am I? Man, we're staring 50 down the barrel. You know that, don't you? I know, Aaron. Don't have to tell me about it. Aaron's got a couple yet. of years on me. Just a uh, couple. Well, yeah, I'm that's staring at 40. Sure? Uh, I'm at 45. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hitting. I will. You're not staring. You're not staring. I'm not quite like, quite down as much. Yeah. Uh, mine hits in the July. July point though. Yeah. Between yeah. 40 and 50. Yeah. You're and I'm, holy I'm almost at the top of the hill. You're a side of the. My, my, uh, my teeter totter is done teeter totter. <laughs> <laughs> I wake up every morning and we're going, damn it. <laughs> Why am I still alive? Is it true what, when they say about banjo pickers? I don't know what is, what does that mean? John Washburn has asked, is it true when they say about banjo pickers? I think he meant to say what they yeah, say. Yeah, I know, about. I assume that, but, uh, what what is it Can't that they with them? Yeah. What do they say about banjo players? Uh, You've heard it all by now. Yeah, I'm yes, sure. I have. Yeah. They do it with three fingers. <laughs> I don't know what Whoa. that means. What? <laughs> you take that um, as you will. Well, <laughs> I always laugh and tell everybody I'm probably one of the most normal banjo players you'll ever meet. And that's so sad. Uh, yeah. yeah. The bar's not but I do high. know several other normal banjo players. Really? Are you sure about yeah. that? Name them. Yeah. Yeah, blame me well, one. <laughs> I, that would mean I'd have to leave some out. I don't want to do that. Hey, in case you guys don't already know, Aaron has recently taken over the Starby Creek Bluegrass yes. Festival. Yes. And, let's take some time and discuss let's that. Ta- let's talk about Conway, that. Conway, Missouri. Conway, Missouri. The uh, Starby Creek Bluegrass Festival. Which is awesome because it was it is like the festival around here and yeah. has been for the last yes. decade or more. And Multiple I know decades. They, just, Multi-decades. they got yeah. Don Day and his family kind of got tired and wanted yep. to quit so it didn't look like anybody was going to take it over so they announced the festival is no more and then Aaron you kind of swooped in there and I, saved it and rescued it I did it. I called the day family like, like an injured little birdie well, you took it in your hands and you, I, you bottle fed I, it yeah but I can't take credit for it I can't oh. take credit for it <laughs> in all seriousness do it, do it. no uh, in all seriousness the day family did uh, they they uh, Don is in, in his mid 80s and, and Bobby as well and so they they told me they felt like they had taken the festival as far as they could. And, sure. And, uh, That's a lot of work. And so when I called them the day after they announced it, we had had four festivals cancel in our industry within two in a two-week period. And Starving Creek was the last one in, in that uh, sequence. And I just couldn't stand it. It hurt my heart. You know, because we all, we all grew up going to festivals. Sure. And, and, we uh, camp out I there together. And... Camped. And, I mean, for young kids, I, I know it kept me out of trouble as a young kid. And it was just At least one that, weekend of the year. At least one weekend of the year, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we, we just love it so much because it's a family-friendly <clears throat> atmosphere. Sure. And people can bring their kids and have fun. And uh, this festival, Don's Festival, Starving Creek has been gone. This, would have been, this will be the 38th. Wow. Annual, so they've had it. it he started it in 1986, and I believe I went there maybe for the first time in 1988 or 89. I think was my first time over there, and I just it became, of course, my home festival. And so there's kind of a big, you know, uh, what's that called? The circle, circle <laughs> full circle. You yeah. know, yeah. Uh, it's where I kind of started really going and meeting other people, and um, now to be able to host it and to, and to run and, it. And, and Ron- Rondo's it. for the last probably almost 30 of those years has been like a staple of that festival. That, yeah. That's one where I always admire Rhonda because she's so well loved there that you guys will do kind of a morning set, maybe like 11 o'clock, yeah. and she'll stand in front of the uh, the CD tent and sign autographs and talk to people all the way till the yeah. night show. She gets no, she doesn't yeah. get a break. Like she, you guys bring <laughs> her water or something to drink and eat while she's eating fans, <laughs> know, and then it. they get back on the stage for the night show, and it's just. Yes, and for me, of course, that was when I moved to Nashville. I was away for 20 years before I moved back just recently. And every time I would go there, it was always overwhelming for me because I get to see people once or twice a year, you know, and they'd be there at the festival. So <coughs> for me, it was a lot of the same thing. I would stand and talk to people. Um, and now that I'm here <coughs> and going to be running it, I guess I can just tell them that I'll have to come back to them later. And <laughs> you just get on, get on your golf cart and yeah. take off. Uh, but no, I, in all honesty, it's it's a very humbling uh, feeling to, to get to do this and I really appreciate the Day family for allowing us to do this and uh, spread the word let everybody know yeah, we're, yeah. we're planning on uh, 
Ooh. we're planning on. I have some visions in the future for some youth uh, things to happen, maybe for the Ooh. July festival, and I, I know it's going to take a little bit of time uh, to get all of that worked out. I want to get one festival under my belt or two before I probably attempt to change. And we're going to do, do more stuff to... with you guys, with you as well. We yeah. talked about this, yeah. and Aaron called us, and we were yeah, just had a lot of stuff going on, so I didn't get back to it. But your lineup is great. Um, well, thank you. Even though if we're not there, it's hey, still wonderful. I tried. I, I tried. know. We'll I tried get to it. get these guys there. Dang we'll do it. We'll do. No, I'm going to come. <laughs> I may kidding. show up anyway. Just uh, I don't know. It's, that's my birthday weekend. So right. I, I may right. show up just to say, hey, Aaron. Um, so tell us the lineup. I know Rhonda will be there, obviously. You'll be yep. there. Uh, so in many? July, we've got Rhonda, of course, is the headline. Um, we've got Leroy and Lizzie show. Uh, Cody Norris show will be there as well. Um, got route three which is a good uh they're based out of purdy missouri yep. i think or right around yep. this area josh williams uh, we mentioned josh williams will be there um that Hinkley, who gang we, who will we be missing? there the punches family uh, the punches family yeah third time out, third time out. oh i gotta Another get russell over here band there. Russell they'll out. be there on <coughs> saturday the punches just family just i remember there. one year uh staying in bruce punches cat camper with you <laughs> i think it was you me and jason maybe yeah or, yeah you and john camped out there man we had some good times we did and we will actually have we're going to have a sally mountain reunion show yeah. so uh Rhonda's family's festival up in uh queen city missouri uh sally mountain they ended up Canceling closing that, that yep. down right after covid and uh so we're kind of so the people that used to to go to sally mountain you know it was kind of always it was always a super big for the the Sally Mountain fans, so we're kind of trying to bring them down to Starby Creek, you know, and give them a place to, yeah, sure. another place to. Uh, if you don't know, the Sally lot. Mountain show was uh, the family band that Rhonda grew up yes. in. It was with her mom and dad and two brothers, and mm -hmm. uh, that's pretty much the only time Brian plays is when. Uh, but yeah. you guys will see. Yeah. Uh, Darren's going to be there. Is that true for? Well, the... I don't know. Yeah. Darren's a wild card, okay. so we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Hey, I, I kind of have the same bald head. If you need me to fill in. <laughs> well, that's, hey. Now, we could probably do that. <laughs> a lot of people confuse me for him. <laughs> Put an oversized suit on me. He just doesn't do the <laughs> Oh, I think you got it, man. You can cut it. it. You can do it. it. You can do it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh. So come see us. Yes, um, do it. Come out. July four, uh, 5th through the 8th this year. We're actually having it after the 4th. They typically always had it around the 4th weekend. But in order to have Rhonda there, we were already booked the, the one before, so I had to move it. I'm hoping that yeah. works out that I can go up there because we normally camp in Branson on the 4th of July weekend. Well, and that's, I'm so we'll thinking, work out the weekend before, and then I'll be able to go up there as long yeah. as you save In my mind, spot. I'm thinking that's probably going to be a better weekend just because... Most people do have family gatherings on the four, so yeah. hopefully we'll try to continue that. You got to me a spot up there? Well, of course. I might go. <laughs> Mine's a, the, cow, the, the cow field. My birthday's right. on the 5th. Are we going to celebrate it there? You betcha. All right, ding, right. Bring it, bring it. Uh, I'll bring gonna, my own cake. We're actually going to do a potluck <laughs> dinner on that Wednesday. So All right. Bring your dinner. That's All what right. they're we'll somebody's asking on there. You. Are you gonna have the campground open a couple weeks? Yeah, Steve was asking We will about be. That. Yeah, we'll have the campground open. A couple, I believe Don and them always open up two weeks ahead. So, I'll Keep look for tradition. look for down the road there. I'll announce that a little bit closer. You know, to uh, when, I, when I get everything exactly lined up and figured out. You know, so I'm still I'm actually learning. I've obviously played several festivals in my lifetime, <laughs> but I've never run one. So, I'm terrified and excited all at the same time. <laughs> But I think we'll do all right. I know you will. Yeah, Mike fine. White requested uh, Wild Bill Jones. You know, okay. Gene do that? Gene. No. My answer is no. All right. right. Uh, I'm going to tell you what this is right here real quick while we're here. I just got this one in. Where uh, Have we put this online yet? This guitar? Maybe. I think we did because if it's next door, it probably should have been. This yeah. is a new bourgeois championship dread that we customized uh, above the standard ones. The st normal championship dread is a sinker mahogany back inside, Adirondack spruce top. This has been, and I actually, 
Me and Dana picked the woods while I was up there. This is one that we have photos of it as well. Singer mahogany back and sides. Really cool uh, on the, uh, like I said, sides look great. Uh, we picked the top. We voiced it uh, while we were up there. And then uh, went a little bit further. This one has a slot through saddle and has the uh, banjo killer style bracing or double scallop bracing. Uh, and there was something else we did customized on this. Oh, uh, we did the no, that's normal with uh, championship, the fretboard purpling, but we did age tone bracing on this one too. So, um, this is going to be a monster right here. And we have photos of us, me and Dana, picking out the woods online, all that stuff. So, this just came in, and you can pick this one up as well. Yes, yes, it, it should be online as well as the boucher will be online today. We today. haven't put the pictures up, but it should be online. We keep getting new stuff in, it what keeps did you going. Say the sides are back on that one? Sinker mahogany. Yeah. Come from underwater. Yeah. I, went, I think really good. I think you should do the same thing with your banjo. Just well, sink it for a while. More like stinker mahogany. I'll get back with you on that. <laughs> <laughs> I love our jokes. They're so good. Oh man. Are you ready? Yep, I'm ready.
Jeremy has decided that we every single week somebody requests Jerusalem Ridge and, and he's now turned it into a major. Oh, that's, that's the best of my head, too bad. happening, Inkly? Uh, I it's am not, not on my hearing end, that, yeah. I'm not hearing it. I'm not All right. hearing that. Sorry. Correctly. Said anybody else Sorry getting it, and somebody else said yes. It's not real. It's in your head. It's just all the hard drive music. That was great. Inkly, what are we working somebody on? What are we talking about right now? Uh, do you want to ask what's the question? Okay, go ahead. The question of the week, by chance? Yes, please do. You guys want to hear what I asked the people? And I would love to And what they want to know your answers to. So, the question is if you weren't doing this musicians working at the acoustic shop what do you think that you would be doing what would your career be for those I, of you that are not musicians real quick just tell us what your maybe dream career is or what else you would want to do i can tell you what i would be doing i'm pretty sure i said this uh earlier this week uh i would be a waitress at hooters that's what I would be if I wasn't doing this. Breaking barriers, guys. Breaking barriers. I would wear that outfit with them. Ah, I'm here to tell you. be in the, <laughs> the motion pictures in Hollywood. Maybe I should change that. What would you be doing successfully? <laughs> Realistically. I'll tell you Realistically what I would have probably been doing. What would you have probably been doing? I would have been a detective. Would you have been yes. a detective? I find this. Homicide? <laughs> Homicide detective. That's right. I, I watched enough of that I, first I game. love that show. <laughs> yeah. I love all of those. I, yeah, that's I, I, true. I always figure them out every time. Do I you? Yeah. I, I, I picture Aaron McDerris is more of like a Matlock. <laughs> <laughs> well, he always won. <laughs> I mean, you know, come on. <laughs> I, the detective, I, I always watch that show. I think I can get into that. I could do that. I, I really could. I actually could. Could you? Because there's also all the I, weird, Aaron, horrible things that you would have to deal horrible. with. It would be horrible. I would say it would be horrible. I knew that horrible. Beth uh, Lawrence's dad was uh, in the police force. I didn't know he was a homicide detective. I did not know that either. <clears throat> yeah, we were talking to Beth last when we were in Nashville last huh. couple weeks ago. Well, and it turns out that. And that you just outed him. Now he's in trouble with all the people he, everyone, the perps he put away. I think they all knew because he had to testify against him. Uh, <laughs> he was hard now anyway. The so. funniest thing is she was explaining how hard it was to lie to him because he, he would... He, he, would he did the interrogations and yeah. stuff. Yeah. She said she used to give tips to her, her brother and sisters, and you're like, don't look up, don't look to the right, don't look back. Keep your breathing slow. Can you imagine that? But he would sit uh, down did and you be sneak? Like, did you sneak out on Saturday? Uh, no, Dad. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that would have been hard. That would have been hard. I would like to speak to my saying? lawyer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I ain't saying nothing until I see my lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Dad, you trained us better than that. You don't speak to that lawyer present. Oh, that's Casey, what would you be doing? Oh, goodness. Uh, what would I be doing? I better be something in the video realm. Yeah, Marketing. I don't know. <clears throat> video production. I said, I said this earlier. I couldn't work for anybody else. So I'd have to be working for myself or not working at all. Jason would be in a uh, <laughs> consultancy role. Uh, come there. You're doing it wrong. I don't work well with people, so. I'd be playing music in a funk band. I think that's Captain probably. Captain wants to know if we could do an Aerosmith song. It's a thing! Going down. Aside from South Africa, that's cool. I want to go to South Africa. That's where he's from. Asking for that song. I don't have a lot of air. on the edge. Everybody's having issues out there with the audio, and then other people are saying it's fine. So I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think. Which channel are those people listening on? Maybe it's the channel. Is it a YouTube versus Facebook? This is all YouTube, so. So maybe something's wrong with YouTube. 
Why don't you write them a letter? Sure, YouTube people. Oh, write to Mr. YouTube. I can barely hear it. Let's test it. Hey guys, There's, talk to the folks. We always have a few hey. issues with the uh, technology. The te all I these, love technology, hey, but all not these, as much as yeah. you, UC. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a little bit of uh, Napoleon Dynamite right there. <laughs> um, all these tech companies have been laying people off. I think that's part of the problem. Uh, YouTube yeah. cut a bunch oh, of staff. Yeah. Uh, TikTok cut all their staff. Inflation. You guys ready to hear some? I'm not hearing any so crackle right in there. Me. I Hey, that's us, guys. <laughs> oh my god. It's like we went back in time. You mean this is being recorded? <laughs> yeah. Holy smokes. <laughs> Little Maggie. Hey, you know what I'd like oh. to hear, John? I've been on a Keith Whitley kick. Lately. I don't right. care. Hey, uh, Hinkley, oh. what would you be doing right now? Like, yeah, let's do you, a little Keith Whitley. I wonder what Hinkley would be doing. What a, oh, yeah. Sorry. It's so hard to hear things. Okay, what I would be doing? Yes, please tell us. As a job? Yeah. Oh God, I have no idea. You have to say working here. <laughs> Probably uh, journalism. Journalism is what I originally wanted to do, but instead I'm editing videos of you guys. Oh, you're, you you're journalisting us right now. Journalistalizing us. You're journalizing. <laughs> yes, I'm, this is actually, there's definitely going to be an expose and a documentary on the Chapmans and their working environment. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty, that's going to be definitely Yikes. an expose. So uh, Peter Ray Hill says it's the Russians. Uh, no, guys, we know it's not the Chinese. They only have balloons and they just don't seem to have the technology to uh, be the able Wi-Fi to ain't that strong. <laughs> <laughs> um... But like I was saying, I'm on a Keith Whitley kick. What do you want to hear from a Keith Whitley? You know what I'd like to do? Would make a good bluegrass song. What would? Uh, I'm over you. I'm over you. I'm just not that great of a... You know the only one that I can do a halfway decent uh, No, Keith I don't want to do thing? that one. Do that one. It's overdone. I'm not playing that one. You requested... Uh, I refuse. Then. I'll be no, your I stepping refuse. stone. I refuse. It's overdone. No, nobody knows that one. Uh, no. We do that one. Let's do that one. That's the only thing I can almost do an okay-ish Whitley with. Whitley was too cool, man. He had the, like this. He had the lows and the highs and the, all the cool sounds and the yeah, the in betweens. He was a mega star. He was, and he didn't even know it. And he still is. Thanks. You're on TikTok. I'm watching all the. The other one I like a lot is, uh, is this a talk show? <coughs> oh, yeah. yes, it is a talk show because it's called Shop Talk. Ooh. You bonehead. That was on TikTok. Hey, he's the guy from South Africa. Be nice. Ready? Do it, Jay. Stepping stone I'll be your stepping stone 
That's a good one right there. I got the phlegm. All of the phlegm. Uh, the phlegm. All of the phlegm is in no here right now. Hey, uh, nasty master <laughs> 92 reminds everybody that tapping is clapping. Hey! Be sure to tap that screen, y'all. <coughs> yeah, uh, do that. Me, tap it. Go ahead. Tap it, tap it, the hearts and hearts and flowers. Tap it. Tap it. Hey, you know what you should do while we're in B and we're doing all this stuff? Get Jason to sing. Um, you can have it. I don't want all right. Do that. I want Jason to sing. One, two, no three. Choice. Crow recorded that like four or five different times, yeah, all slightly all, different. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like Sin City. There's like four or five variations of that one. And too. you know what? They're all okay. And they're all <laughs> they're all okay. The best thing is to blend <laughs> them all. all good. <laughs> think we've got anything else we need to cover? Anything else that we need to cover? Um, we talked a little bit about events coming up. You guys are going to be going to Bend. To yeah, we are. Some awesome places. We're going to bend it like Beckham. Oh man, no. Uh, me, Jeremy, and Jason just uh, finished our bookings to head out to Bend, Oregon. We're flying into Redmond, and then we go to Bend. We're going to spend two days with the two old hippies crew, which is Bedell and Breedlove, mainly to do some Bedell uh, projects. You know that we have come up with the square shoulder dreadnought that uh, was kind of a brainchild and work of the acoustic shop and. Bedell, uh, we have the first one. is actually for sale right now. It's a fabulous guitar. Um, I think it even says zero 01 on the... It does. It's zero zero 001 of the new square shoulder uh, dreads that came out. That's uh, Indian Rosewood and uh, Adirondack Spruce Top. Sunburst. We have a natural uh, being built, but we're going to have uh, some exclusive variations of that that are only available to us, so we're going to work out the details of that. The other thing that we're uh, working on is another kind of secret project involving... My 1940 D18. Well, I gotta we're bring that out with me. We're gonna so, smash it. Yes, what we're gonna do? We're gonna break it open and see if they can put it back together. Yeah, like it's a, and and, and it's with a, it or yeah, with a time. It's gonna yeah. be a time contest, really, okay. and see if they can really. How good? How long. good are your luthiers? <laughs> Oh, don't what do that. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so we're going to do that. Then <clears throat> we are going to Sisters, Oregon. We will be at the Thompson factory. We're going to be working on two custom builds, and they're wanting me to build my own custom Thompson guitar. Like he has I tried to, to tell them. He has to take yeah. the, the, 
Chisels. She wants to pick out woods. I told her, I says, I don't have any money. That's kind of the problem with that. Kids. What are you going to do? <laughs> buying a guitar like that? Come on. <laughs> so anyway, uh, they want to kind of do that. It'll be kind of a, a really cool project, and as well as a couple of and them then for customers. Even another cool thing, we're going to visit go Ryan Fish yep. and go see what's going on with Weber Mandolins. They're Ryan coming Fish. back has taken over the Weber mandolin brand and he is oh. building mandolins and we're going to go visit the shop and give you guys a uh, sneak peek of what's coming. Stuff that we've ordered, is. stuff that he's coming out. Uh, it's yep. going to be pretty cool. So, so it'll be a, a busy trip but it's going to be worth while. Very cool. On a different note, I'm just going to ask this because I'm sure people want to know. How many guitars do you own? Way too many. <laughs> well, that's not an answer. Last, last I looked of like real guitars because there's some like goofy stuff yeah. that's in my house that probably doesn't count. I think last I looked, I'm up to like 13 right now. Oh my yeah. goodness! Yeah, okay. Good ones, Jeremy. I don't. Ha I've got three, two mandolins, three mandolins, uh, and a mandola and a mandocello and an octave mandolin. So I have a mandolin family. That's like a, a family of five. I think I have three guitars, two or you three do guitars. Have three guitars, don't you? So yeah, they more and guitars. And back the banjo that you never play. That's for my wife. I have a banjo. I bought that Solomon banjo. You know that I bought that? Yeah, it's mine. It's mine. I like basin it. That's, the, basin that's, that's the benefit and the joy of running your own store, right? <laughs> I got no, two it's how you stay broke. <laughs> it's how you stay broke. I got this bass and an electric bass that never gets played. Hey, hey Cleo, you asked me what I I'm watching. I have never seen you play electric okay. bass. Okay. You won't. Jeremy know. wants to talk about what shows he's watching. So, Jeremy and everybody else, what are you guys enjoying? So Jason, I'd like to Jason expand this. Hold on. Okay. I'd like to expand this into what we're also listening to. All right. Yes. If we can talk about that. What media what are, are you charge? consuming? Hinkley, would you allow us to The question is out there. I'll allow it. Before Jeremy answers, okay? I'm the boss here. You guys think it's shush. You're the, the boss of nothing. Boss. Quit looking you at don't know she ain't nothing. the boss. Everything she does runs through. For this one hour, Hinkley's in charge. Yes. Before we answer that question, though, everybody out there, what are you listening to and watching? We want to know. Yeah, I'd um, love to hear that. So, to, Jason just informed me that uh, Alone, the new season, was on Hulu. So I started that. I'm only into like episode Pretty one. Pretty good this year. The Alaska? Yeah. yeah. I just finished it. This, this is the one, the ninth this season? Is on, this is uh, what is it? Labrador. This is the one there in there in Lab Labrador. They said the polar bears apparently show up on the oh, shores no, I'm here the other from one. time to time. They yeah. ride they ride on the ice and float down to this to Labrador and hunt. The thing about this season that seems to be pretty cool is they're like hunting like crazy. It's not like these people eating twigs and berries and, and surviving on starvation. <laughs> These guys are like actually allowed to hunt, so they're catching good fish. You guys know they're darn well beavers. there's they're like eating beavers. power These tools and These whatnot. Guys don't have a crew. They have to go camera I don't know, John. This is this real. This is the only real this one. This is real. Push. This is real. Leave it. Don't this ruin this like, for me. This is like Survivor <laughs> Man, but with a competition. <laughs> oh, I, I actually it. was watching that for the first time. I actually watched all of the this. The only series I've ever watched, and I'm sitting there really getting into it. Like, man, these people are crazy. Hardcore, isn't it? Yeah. It is hardcore. They, they end up losing like 50 I pounds. Think, in I think this year period. they're going to break the record. The record's 80 days, and I think some of these guys that are out there. So this guy said he's going to beat the record with 101 days. So I think the last one was at 100 days. You think? Yeah, that's what he said oh, on this episode. But um, I've also been, my wife and I found this parenting contest where they try out all the different parenting the parent styles trend, yeah. and figure out which is the, the most. Uh, the most stable to raise your children with, and it's like the, the free range know, parenting. Well, that's the, like an 18 or 20 year old, 20 year project. project. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, it, it's let me let you know, teenage all around. of a sudden changes all of the rules. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Aaron, the, uh, you know that. Helicopter <laughs> parenting. I got one almost graduated. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think every set of rules went out the window when my daughter turned into a teenager. Mm -hmm. Jason, what are you watching? We are watching. We're to. still every week. We're still watching uh, 19. 23. 24, three. Three. 23. Every yep. week they we're put watching, out an episode. I just watched that. We're watching, uh, what's that, Your Honor still? Oh, yeah. I got to see that first season. That last episode, have you watched it yet? No, yeah. you haven't seen Oh, the first season. Yeah. Oh, Is you there a second season, season already? Season? Yeah. I didn't know that. It's I was going right thought, now. Oh, man, we got to wait till next year. Wait till, wait, no, it's all out. Oh, my goodness. Week Guys, week. I got to go. <laughs> but the last episode <laughs> of the second season that they just finished, Ended the best Brian ever. Krantz, he knows how to leave you a cliffhanger. They figured out the formula that was in Breaking Bad and basically recreated it in this show, and it's it leaves you on the edge of your seat. What are you listening to, also? Me? Yeah. Uh, I, I keep Tell listening you. to uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, Smart List, the podcast. Yeah, I listen to both of those. I don't listen to anything. Me and the kids have been listening to a lot of music in the truck because they ride with me lately a lot, and uh, we listen to a lot of things. Keith Whitley's been a big one because uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, uh, 
What's the, the guy that sings Light Keys, by the way? Uh, you know him. Friend Me? of the show. Uh, Which one? There's like a, a few of them. Oh, you like... Uh, uh, yeah, I Jordy. can't think of his name. Yeah. yeah, Caleb. Caleb. He did a post recently about his guitar, uh, you know, Keith Whitley guitar, and then he played a, a bunch. Man, I don't got to look at Keith Whitley. So we've been blasting that, and then we've been blasting Tominsky. You know, the pop. The new pop The pop Tominsky? stuff. My right. kids love it, and I, I get it, too. You know what? Aaron, what have you been love watching and listening to? Well, uh, I listen to a large amount of different stuff when I travel back and forth to Nashville. That's about the only time I listen to radio, so... Uh, Got the Sirius XM, got the 80s on 8, Ooh. the Vinyl Channel, uh, Hair Nation. Oh, he's into the hair oh, bands. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. I love oh, that. I love the 80s. Might as well jump, right? Might as well jump. Just watched a documentary on Motley Crue uh -huh. on Netflix, which is dirt. dirt. It's crazy, which I think all them rock bands were the same. But anyway, <laughs> they seem to be a little bit more... But anyway, uh, so yeah, and then of course Bluegrass. I listen to Bluegrass. I don't yeah. listen to that. I no just more. do a whole different bunch of different stuff. I don't get, and a lot of times I'll listen to some talk radio or, you yeah, know, just depends on. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I've got <laughs> Willie Roadhouse on there. Wow. My truck right now. So I got a new truck and. Uh, it's still on the subscription from the previous owner. So Mike cracks me up because I'll be driving. I Honestly, for music, I've got a thumb drive that I put. It's 120 gigs of <gasps> music. And on it's one just, drive? Yeah, it's huge. I, lots of, and so I put it on uh, just shuffle. So, I mean, it'll be everything from ABBA to I family collect uh, Bear Family Sets, oh, yeah. uh, bluegrass, country stuff, uh, yeah. pop, jazz, and it's just Jason hates it when he gets in my car because it's all over the place, one song to the next. Um, but anyway, uh, but every once in a while I get this like listing up here of, uh, do you want to continue to listen to blah 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 channel? And I'm like, <laughs> you should change all of his favorites. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got time for to do one more tune. Um, Somebody has really uh, Mitzi rawhide. Odin wants rawhide badly. Can you please make it your final tune? I think uh, we should. Today we're going to be putting oh Aaron to work and making him do some banjo demos and recording those for our YouTube channel. If you guys haven't already subscribed to YouTube, we have all kinds of great content there. We have performances from bands, we have uh, product reviews and performances, all kinds of fun stuff. We just worked on the new Exploding Banjo Case video, Ooh. it'll be coming out soon. You do want to subscribe to that so you see that coming. And also with TikTok and uh, Facebook, thank you guys for subscribing. Summergrass, sure. is Summergrass uh, up in the Northeast? Peter, uh, are you still there? He said, uh, I sure hope the Chapmans will consider getting into the lineup for Summergrass third week of August. You know what, I'd love to get out and play some more. You you, you won't want us. I will tell you this much, we did a couple, you you were there when we did our first Washington quote reunion State. bluegrass yeah. festival. Darrington. It was uh, in Darrington. They were there with, uh, with Rhonda, of course, and the one thing I could say about it was it was fun. Yeah. It wasn't good. It was fun. <laughs> no, no pressure when you already know that you don't remember how to play. idiots who forgot how bad they really were. <laughs> uh, so, no, we'd love to. I think it'd be fun to start getting out and doing more shows. We're doing all this stuff here now. It was funny when we were up in Darrington to see how many fans of the Acoustic Shop. I think there were more Acoustic Shop fans than there were Chapman's fans, which I thought was pretty funny. <laughs> That, that was funny at Spigma this year. Like, we used to be go there and be known as the Chapman's. We're like, hey, what are you guys doing? And I was like, hey, I follow you guys' channel on YouTube and TikTok. And Man, I am here yeah. to tell you, I don't know how many. I just, I'm going to talk to TikTok over here. You guys, there were so many 70 and 80 year old men Farmers. hanging out that follow TikTok. You have no really? idea how many TikTok followers are not who you think they would be. Their demo is not what I was expecting. <laughs> you know how Facebook got taken over by uh, parents and then pushed all the kids off? That's why TikTok's, TikTok's about to TikTok's about grandparents. <laughs> TikTok, they're going straight to grandparents. Uh, Peter says it's in San Diego. I remember we've been there. I'm up for it. Let's do it. Let's Let go. us know who to contact, and then also uh, put a call tell them that they need to have the chapters and we'll do it. All right, good. let's get out of here this one. Hi, Eric. Because I'm not doing a show without Eric. We'll see you guys. Uh, tomorrow's going to be New Guitar Thursday. John will do some New Guitar Thursday stuff. Probably this. Otherwise, we'll see you uh, next week. Go, Jared. What are you up there? What are you on the... Oh, a rawhide. I was thinking, that's a wheelhouse. Oh. <laughs>
guys. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you. Bye, guys. I love you.